In this video, I wanna share with you the history of private placement programs and what you need to do to participate in any of these programs successfully. Hi, my name is Tim Rosama from lineupcred.ai. For the past few years, I've had the privilege of understanding private placement programs, uh, you know, doing various activities to participate in these programs for, um, risk management perspective, I'm gonna skip telling you how many programs I did or did not participate with, who I did or did not participate with. Uh, I will tell you, however, that my organization provides due diligence because of the number of fraudulent uh, private placement providers that are out there, and then we provide lines of credit alone. Uh, private placement programs were invented in the end of World War II. The idea originated from a US Senator who wanted to stop the growth of communism in, in Europe and wanted to create a vehicle for democratic countries uh, to have a way to fund uh, systems or programs so that they weren't relying on the United States in a nutshell. Uh, a lot of major banks have their own private uh, placement programs or trade desk. It's really for high net worth individuals. It's truly for the who's who of the world. A lot of rich families, like the Rothschild family, also have their own, I'll say, desk, and it's their ability to print money by pressing a button. That is an exaggeration, but it's pretty much, I don't know how else to simplify it. You press a button and money gets printed out. Uh, typically, for you to get the returns that you're hoping to get, promises that you made, you have to participate at $100 million or more. If you don't have $100 million or more, you're participating in something called Small Caps Program. Very, there's only 12 real authentic private placement uh, desks out there. And then there's 3,000 wannabes and fakes. And that 3,000 could be actually a lot more or some version of that. Uh, but there's really 12 uh, authentic ones that I can point to to say, this guy is real or this trade desk is real, let out. Uh, small uh, small cap is uh, from time to time a program director may say I want to support my community and I'll and I'll offer a small window for small caps to come in. So that's when if you have 25 million, 50 million, but you're less than 100 million, you can get into a small cap uh, program. A lot of businesses that we bump into uh, are looking for security of their capital. And so they don't want to put up $25 million to give it to a stranger, hoping that they will make billions of dollars in 60, 90 days or whatever that's promised to you. That's when we get retained to do due diligence on the private placement uh, people. Um, there are very few people, few platforms that uh, have a alternative than cash. So you can put a standby letter of credit or you can put some kind of a, you know, government note or whatever. I have seen some very, very creative financing done where the institution um, goes and gets the SBLC. The, the person who runs a business goes and gets the SBLC, but then goes and gets insurance on the SBLC and then comes, calls us to monetize the SBLC and put that monetized amount into a trading platform. So have some, I have seen and witnessed some very, very, very creative financing that has blown me away in how to participate in a private placement program and being fully protected. Uh, that's another reason I've seen that is because I like to say we do a really good job of the due diligence part of it. And uh, the sophisticated con artists get more and more sophisticated every day. And uh, <laughs> I use former FBI people, former CIA people, former, I, I use some some resources so I can know not only the people that we're talking to, but I can look into their bank accounts and hopefully I can see the last 10 transactions to see if these people are real or not. And uh, I'm kind of like, anyways, I'll, I'll just say that. Uh, one question that I ask, one of the questions, frequently asked questions I've asked is, so Timo, how can you help us out? Uh, Filling up the CIS form or KYC and, you know, putting up proof of funds. Sometimes it's an emotional experience for people. 
and a lot of people get stopped with filling up their paperwork. So one of the services we offer is we have one of my associates on a Zoom call with you to go over the CIS or KYC form that you receive from whichever platform you want to work with and help you fill those things out. We provide a line or a loan or credit through a program called Rent a Rich Uncle. You can click on Rent a Rich Uncle on our web, uh, on program on our website, lineofcredit.ai and get all the information if you're looking for a loan or line credit. Primarily, you may have like 25 million, but you want to put, put in 100 million dollars. And so that's, you know, we like to provide you a loan or a line of credit. Uh, like that. Uh, we offer a diversification program. Uh, given our experience in this area, we know a bunch of platforms that are real or uh, brokers that are real. So it's not a distraction. If it is not a distraction to your current path, I'm happy to introduce you to some uh, genuine brokers who have successfully taken clients to uh, platforms like that and uh, kind of support you that way. Uh, that's it in a nutshell. I look forward to 2021. 20, uh, I think it's going to be an awesome year. And if you want to participate in a private placement program, I'd love for my team to be a support for you. i verify, making sure that you're not part of a fraudulent uh, activity and support you in America. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you on your side.